way I separate myself is it's just not a product I'm delivering, it's a relationship I'm creating. So we're team members, not just someone you need when you need a lawyer. I'm a fixer. My job is to help clients solve problems and the way that I like to do that more than anything is to be upfront before a problem arises. I love being able to help companies. I love being able to help businesses early stage and smaller businesses grow. I love being able to help companies grow and being able to be a part of that process and leading up to that process is really something that, that I take a lot of pride in. I think people would be most surprised to learn that I have hiked the Great Wall of China but I think my biggest claim to fame and what I'm most proud of is that I coach my boys Little League baseball teams. And I have to tell you, look out Manny Machado, because here they come. People would be surprised to learn that I got into immigration law in sort of a funny way. So I decided to do a graduate degree, went to the London School of Economics, and the law firm that I was with realized that I had foreign, married a foreign national and he had papers. So they said, well, you know more about immigration law than anybody else around here, so why don't you do some of that? And I sort of laughed and I said, well, that's fine, as long as I don't have to marry everybody. I've always believed that it's important not only to be active in your business, but also be active in the community. We understand the concept of giving back. Uh, we need to be involved in our communities, because if we're not, who else is going to be? Uh, when we get home at night and when we're working, we're always trying to serve the greater community that we live in. So the challenge that I faced and, and learned from, my dad's a bricklayer, and I spent a lot of time growing up working construction. And what I learned from that experience is that you can build great things if you have a plan, one brick at a time, and that there is no substitute for hard work, and that it is through that consistent, persistent effort that great things can be accomplished. Everybody's gonna make mistakes, but there's no sense in having you try to make them all. Pay attention to what happens to other people and learn from what went well for them and what didn't go so well. The best tip or piece of advice that I've picked up is networking because you can always run into someone who could be that next referral source, that next piece of business. Always be professional and always uh, be nice to everyone you meet and never burn bridges. I learned that you need to care about your clients and you need to treat your clients the way you would want to be treated. And so I think of every client the way I would think of a family member. And I represent that client with all of my heart, all of my zeal, uh, to make sure that that client's case comes out in the right way. People enjoying the experience. They truly feel that, that you have an interest in them, um, that they're not being dictated to, they're not being talked down to, and that you're collectively involved in this. By having a successful personal relationship, the individual can really accept your advice and you can do better for your clients. The best piece of advice that I was ever given was to make sure that in everything we do, there's value and there's excellence and we strive for perfection in everything that I do. You treat your clients like they're your clients and you treat your partners like they are your clients. So it's just not doing the best job you can do for your clients. It's also figuring out what the partners in your firm want and doing the, doing the best job for them and their clients as well.